Hi guys, welcome to Minutes 2 Energy. We are a team of solar professionals with more than 10 years of experience in technology and business fields and today we are going to share our knowledge and experience with you. Please see the video till the end for useful resources. So let's begin. Today's topic is Solar Plant Performance Ratio or in short, PR. PR is a very important tool or factor that being used globally by companies and professionals to assess the healthiness of solar PV system. So, let's know how this PR is calculated and how it is so important for solar PV system. So, what is performance ratio or the PR for solar PV power systems? PR is the ratio of effective produced energy to ideal energy yield at STC condition. As it's a ratio, it is unit less, and globally, it is being denoted as a percentage value. Here, the term effective energy is the available, usable energy delivered to the grid or to the end user. While calculating the PR, all the losses like optical losses, PV array losses, DC to AC conversion losses, and the other system losses are taken into account. Please follow our other videos for detail info on different types of system losses. Simple annual PR measured on the basis of actual annual usable energy and the annual solar irradiance, which received at inclined PV plane. Now let's see the formula of PR. So, PR is equals to E grid divided by the product of GII and P nom PV. Here, E grid is the usable energy available at the user end. Unit of E grid is kilowatt hours per year. GII refers to the global inclined irradiation received by the solar PV array at certain tilt angle. Next is PNOM PV. This is solar PV arrays installed DC capacity with unit as kilowatt peak. Next is the types of PR which are there for their own significance and applicability. So let's know more about them. First is STC equivalent PR. It is determined by adjusting the power at each recording interval to compensate for difference between the actual PV module temperature and the STC reference temperature. This method normally used when the system performance ratio is to be measured at a short duration of daytime. Annual temperature corrected PR is similar to the previous one. Here, PR is calculated by adjusting the reporting period with respect to power to compensate for the difference between the actual PV module temperature and the expected annual average module temperature. Annual temperature correction is very significant when the annual PR is required to be validated for within the first 15 to 20 days of operation. Now, let's look at an example of how to calculate simple annual PR with available plant operational data. For any given year and location, say from a 1000 kW peak solar PV on grid installation, the annual global irradiance received at the PV plane is 1875 kWh per m square per year, and the usable energy fed to grid is 1540 MWh. Here, the E grid is 1540 MWh or 1540 into 1000 kWh per year. GII is 1875 kWh per m square per year and the PNOM PV is 1000 kW peak. Then, the yearly PR should be calculated as 1,540,000 divided by open bracket 1875 multiplied by 1000 close bracket, which is 0.82 or 82%. So hope you now understand how to calculate annual performance ratio of solar plant. Please see our other video on how to calculate PR in MS Excel for more detailed understanding. The solar plant performance ratio is defined in the norm IEC N61724. Please follow the latest edition, that is IEC 61724, Part 1, 2017 edition. Link to get the standard from IEC Web Store is in the description below. Now let's talk about few points you should keep in mind while assessing the solar plant performance ratio. First, PR always represented as percentage. Second, PR is a ratio of actual energy generated to the ideal energy yield for a given period. And the third one is that it is independent of location specific irradiance level. So, what is the significance of plant performance ratio? Well, the PR is an important metric in the PV industry. 
It is often used as a contractual condition or contract warranty when commissioning a PV system, irrespective of system size or system type, whether be it ground mount or rooftop based, be it grid connected or off the grid, a small rooftop system or even an ultra megawatt utility scale solar plant. Also, we professionals always check PR for the healthiness of the plant and to verify the annual energy yield. So, this is all about solar plant performance ratio. To know more about the PR, please see these videos. We have put the links to the videos in the description below. Please let us know how did you find this video helpful in the comments section. We read all of your comments. And please please like and share the video as much as you can. Do subscribe to our channel, Minutes to Energy, for more interesting videos on solar PV system. Thanks for watching guys till the end. See you in the next video.